Uh, I am Siliana Zahariu. This is uh, the night by South Drama. I want to welcome you all. And I want to thank you so much for coming. Um, I want to inform you that as part of the proceedings today, are going to go to Young Epilepsy, uh, the Young Epilepsy Charity. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, I also have to uh, say some uh, security safety procedures. So in case of any emergency, uh, there are two doors, one up down here, one up there. Calmly, we leave the building uh, and everything will be fine. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching and enjoy the show. Yay. Run 
any kind of data. Then perhaps this last neuron I have left can finally be, and then maybe I'll come up with some idea. It's a good thing I was not calling there still in this. I mean, what kind of half on that That lazy bastard has been going down some case and confiscating. Now he's wasted, lay on his back, snoring on his height. All right, great, great, now forget the rest of it. There. Take it and toast it to a good spirit. Mm. Why is it so thick? <laughs> I guess that's what happens when the wine gets old. No, you don't. He wine ages, he doesn't get old. Ugh, never mind. It's not like I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> Drink this and swill down the fine good spirit. Oh, excellent spirit. The idea is yours, not mine. <gasps> you read that book. All right, tell me, what's up your idea? Get in there and feed the Paplabonian scroll. Now quick, because he, you know what? He... Okay, but I'm afraid I would get the gods a little bit angry with me. Now let's see, I'll bring this bottle over here beside me so I can moisten my mind and think of some more brilliant things. <laughs> the peaks of my grandparents snoring fire the legend, that Paphlagonian. <laughs> I was able to see the scroll without waking from home. Oh, you are the best. No permitting. <laughs> and let's see. <laughs> Quick, pass me that cup. Uh, okay, what does the skull say? Pour me another. Pour me another? Is that what the skull says? <laughs> Holy shit! What is it? Quick, pass me that cup! <laughs> if you have any more, you may piss your pants. <laughs> oh, you disgraceful Paphlagonian! So that's why you've been protecting yourself all this time. You're scared of what the scroll says about it. Why is that? He hears it says how to be destroyed. And how is that? Well, the, pro the prophet clearly predicts that common saved man will rule over the city after winning over another. First! Every seller comes along and controls the business of the city. That's one villain. What's next? After that one, another comes. Someone who sells sheep, and they will be down by the beach. That is two dealers. What's supposed to happen to that second one? Well, she'll be in charge until someone else, a disgusting man, comes on the scene. After that happens, she dies. Her successor will be a leather dealer and a thief. A Paphlagonian with a screaming voice as loud and annoying as a crying baby. So, the sheep seller sells sheep down by the seashore and swiftly to the leather seller sells leather. Are you sure she shall sell sheep down by the seashore? Yes, I'm sure she sells sheep down by the seashore. And so she will shoot the leather seller and the leather seller will shoot by the sheep seller away from the seashore? But she will shoot the leather seller away from the seashore. So the leather seller will shoot by the sheep seller away from the seashore. Are you sure? Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and heaven help us, we're in trouble. I wish some other dealer would show up from somewhere. Just one. Well, there's very one. One with a splendid trade. Okay, tell me who that is. Come on, I'm asking you. You want me to tell you? Yes, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the man who will destroy the Paphlagonian is a sausage seller. A sausage seller? A sausage seller? <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! What a train! Where, where do we find a man like that? Well, let's go look for him. Okay. Sausages! Sausages! Long and juicy! Eat them by themselves, eat them on a bun! Eat them by your own, eat them with your mom! Come fill your hole with long and juicy sausages! <laughs> hey, man! Hey! Come on over! Come here! You show up as a savior for the city and for the two of us. What's going on? Why are you calling me? Hey, come on over so you can find out your uh, massive, enormous, 
gargantuan, succulent luck. How oh, tremendously fortunate you are. Come on, take that box away from him and tell him what, what the God's oracle proclaims. I'll go and keep on watching the Papa Gomez. All right, first of all, set all that stuff on the ground there and uh, make a sacred salute to the earth and to the God. There, now, what's going on? Oh, you must be blessed of men and wealthy too. Today you have nothing, but tomorrow you will be Mercy Day, the chief, the boss of a happy city. My good man, why not leave me alone to wash my tribe and sell my sausages instead of mocking me? Oh, you silly goose. Yeah. Forget about your tribe. Look over there. Do you see all those people in all those rooms? Yeah, I see them. You're gonna be lord of them all, in control of the marketplace and the harbors. You're gonna stop on the council, keep everyone in line, stop on your enemies, and have in your bed anyone you please. Even me. <laughs> me? Yes, of course you, but you are not seeing the whole picture yet. Climb up on this bed and gaze out at all the islands they have surrounded us. I see you. What do you see? Uh, trading ports? Uh, merchant ships? Yeah, I see those. Well, how can you not be immensely fortunate? Now turn your left eye towards Edinburgh and your right eye towards Inverness. I'll be happy to once I break my neck. That's not the point. All that land is to be taken away thanks to you, for you are going to be the most powerful of men. The scout says it all right here. Explain this to me. How am I, a seller of sausages, gonna turn into somebody respectable? No, I don't believe in prophecies. You're wasting my time when I should be at work. Good day to you, sir. The very reason you will be powerful is that you are a shameless market bastard. And impudent as well. But I don't think I'm good enough to have great influence. know something remarkable about yourself? What about your parents? Don't you come from good and honest people? My God, no, very bad ones indeed. Oh, you fine fellow. You have such advantages for politics. My good man, I have no education, nothing but reading and writing. I'm bad at those, real bad. Reading and writing, that's the only thing bringing him down. Reading and writing. Reading and writing, you see, as a leader of the people, no longer needs any specific training, or to be honest in his dealings. Instead, he should be um, ignorant and disgusted. And what's more, you are a product of the marketplace, so you must not disregard what the gods are offering to you in this process. What did it say? It's good, uh, but it's written as a difficult riddle. <clears throat> and when the eagle with lanky claws shall in his beak seize the dove blood sucking serpent, then will perish the Patagonian brine, and then the gods will bestow enormous fame on those whose occasion is to market the tribe, unless they would prefer to sell their sausages. What's that have to do with me? Well, the eagle is a man with his hat, the Patagonian. And the, the lanky claws, what's that? What those words mean is clear. He takes three with his rough and lanky fingers and never returns them. And the, the serpent, what, what, what's that about? Oh, that's all. The serpent is elongated as is the sausage which is also long. And serpents, like sausages, suck up blood. And the serpent will conquer over the eagle unless the serpent's resolve is broken down by words. Well, prophecy makes me sound ideal. Still, I'm wondering how I'm going to be capable of ruining people. Oh, that's so easy. Just keep doing what you're doing. Make a complete hash of public business, uh, mix things together like sausage meat, and win people to your side with well-cooked phrases. The other colleagues and leader of the people really need your help. A disgusting voice and bad parents. 
and what model? You are a product of the marketplace. You have all essential qualities for qualities. So crown yourself with a garlic braid and toast to the god of fools and keep that money to the dance. That's all good, but who would help me out? Rich men fearing and poor men are so terrified they'll shit themselves. But I mean, they are a thousand excellent. The knight, they get him, and they will let him. Along with the upright and honest members among the citizens, all people here in the audience who have any brains, <laughs> and me, me. Hopefully, some god will not put them out. So have no fear. He's never seen a face like this before. He's got a face only mother could love. Though he's easy enough to recognize, the audience is smart enough. Are you smart enough? <laughs> Yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> my mother. 
bother out of it. I'll skin you alive with false accusations. Joke's on you, I'm known for multiple war crimes. You and I are going to have a talk about that later. Look you right in the eye. Charles Have you been a kiss? I hope so. <laughs> if you say a word, I'll stuff your mouth with shit. <laughs>
while they all sit around with their noses in the air and make off with their meat. Actually, swallows are more associated with good luck than the coming of spring. Mm -hmm. Oh, you most blessed of men, you did as the apex of the artichokes. You gathered them before they returned on the swallows. And I did it all without being noticed. If someone saw what I'd done, I'd just take them eat and shove them in a crotch and swear I was happy to see them. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> when a certain politician saw what I'd done, he said, Surely, this is someone who will rule the people. Ah, uh, the mark of a true leader. And it's very clear what led him to that conclusion. You could steal, perjure yourself, and shove me in your crush. I'll stop this man's insolence. A lot of the men to both of you. I'll come down like a sweeping, driving mighty wind, confounding land and sea into common chaos. Then I'll haul in my sausages and Float along before the friendly breeze, letting you wail and howl away. I'll watch out for the villages in case the boat makes water. I understand you're a very uh, heavy individual. You must have got it. You have ten to keep your mouth shut. You love to. Now if you can travel up a bit fully safe, the wind has lost its vitality. Too bad I'll be charged with bribery for that, but... <clears throat> Four lawsuits, each carrying a hundred pound fine. You'll be charged with twenty for skipping out on military service. Oh. Thousands more for that. Oh, I'll pray your parents commit an adultery. And your mother, I proclaim, was so fat... So if I could walk, you come say to my face! She couldn't even jump to conclusions. Oh! Oh, 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 You're an imposter. And you're a scoundrel. Here came Hydra. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, these, oh, these imposters are killing me. <laughs> Lash you on the stomach. Punch you with your, with your, with your sausages. Punch you with both hands. You brave heart. Truly the most noble of all slabs of meat. How well, how brilliantly your speeches have demoralized that man. What praise for you can match the joy we feel? I know what's going on here. I know all about the conspiracies involving all of you. Your nightly gatherings in the city. Your, 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 your trafficking with the great king. And all, and all the hay you've been gathering illegally. The baseless accusations will get you nowhere. Hey, hey, well, what's the going rate for hay? Ah, for hay, you stretch out, scare the odds! Count, if you have both wit and heart, now is the time to show it. At that time, we shall meet down your cross, as you say. Yeah, I'll go, but first I'll get rid of my sausages. I'll put them over here. Ah, and before you go, wrap some of that grease on your throat and neck so that you can slide out of his boat charges. Ah, good idea, spoken like a true wrestling master. Also, grab that garlic and swallow it. What for? You'll fight better when you're stuck with garlic. <laughs> you can do this. All right, I'm going, I'm going. <coughs> Remember now! Bite the man! Slatter him! Suck him dry! <laughs> Gobble him up down to his boat! Go and good luck! May you live up to my hopes! and may you return adorned with the garlands of victory. So read the cheer for the man, a powerful surge with all of your fingers, that he may leave with joy and success, and can know it, his forehead all bright with glistening delight. O oh, Poseidon, the god more beloved than all the others, the one our present crisis needs. We wish to sing the praises of our ancestors, men worthy of this land who deserve to carry the ceremonial robe. In battles fought on land or on the sea, they were victorious all the time. They brought our city honor. When one fell down on his shoulder in a fight, he would wipe off the dust, get back up and deny he'd had a fall. When he looked out upon his enemy, he would never once count their number. Instead, he was immediately ready for the fray. But now they say they will not fight unless they have the privilege of front row seats and meals. As for us, we believe we should nobly guard our city and our country's gods without being paid. 
we ask for one tiny thing. Should peace ever come and bring our hard work to an end, you will not mind if we wear long hair and keep our skin well scrubbed. Oh, Dan, guardian of our city, if there ever was a time when you, when you need us, it is now we need you. A brilliant sausage seller. What news do you bring? How did you make out in the competition? Well, the result is this. I've beaten the castle. <gasps> no! no! To shout of delight. Hooray! What's up? Well, you speak very well, but your actions say much more than your words. I really believe I'd go a long way to hear what it is you have to say. So, dear chap, be brave and tell us all. Oh, then listen, the story's worth hearing. I went rushing out from here right behind him. He was inside, bursting with verbiage, hurling his thunder, attacking the knights with fantastic stories and mountains of words, claiming they were conspirators. His speech was very convincing. The whole council, as I was listening to him, was growing spice hot, with gazes like mustard and eyebrows tense. When I saw they were falling for his lies and his bullshit, I, I cried out, Come to me, spirits of impudence, your cheats, your rogues, your boobies, your rascals, and, and the market, too, where I was brought up as a child. Give me boundless brazenness, a salesman's chatter, and a shameless voice. And as I was saying all that to myself, a man and asshole had been buggered out of shape, a ripped ass to my right, a sign from the gods, which I gave them thanks. So I went and I knocked over the barrier, and I opened my mouth out real wide, and I cried out, O oh, members of the council, I bring excellent news, and I'm keen you'll be the first to hear it. Since the time the war first broke over us, I've never seen mail deals at a cheaper price. <laughs> Their faces immediately relaxed. They were prepared to crown me for my good news. So I told him, as if I was telling a secret, that in order to buy lots of meal deals for just one pound, they should promptly confiscate all bowls from pottery shops. <laughs> all their mouths opened wide, and they applauded. But the path was going, and guessing what I was up to, and knowing the sort of talk the council really loved, made a proposal. A oh, gentleman, in honor of this wonderful event which has just been reported, we should offer up a sacrifice of a hundred oxen to some god. Council swung back his way. So I upped the ante on it by crying out, two hundred oxen. Then, I suggested, they make a promise to sacrifice a thousand goats the following day if the price was one pound for a hundred of them. Council swung back my way again, and eagerly. A Paphlagonian, when he had heard what I said, started to prattle off raving nonsense. So the president and the archers started to drag him off while the counselors all stood around babbling all about meal deals. The Paphlagonian was pleading with them, saying, Wait a bit before you make a decision to see what the messengers have to say. Does they need peace proposals? Council with one voice cried out, Why sue for treaty now? My good fellow, it's because they've heard our meal deals are so cheap. We don't want peace. Let the war go on. So they called for the council to adjourn the meeting and scatter, jumping the railing in all directions. I snuck straight to the marketplace and bought up all the coriander seed and onions I could find. Passed them around free of charge, a, a gift to counselors who had no spices to put on their meals. They all lavished me with their praise and attention. So I went over the whole council with uh, some coriander, a ton's worth. Then I came back here. Hooray! Ah, the Paphlagonian! Looking as if he's a storm lashing the waves and rolling the sea before it in its fury. He gods on an impudent day. It looks like he wants to swallow me up alive. The heavy guile, I'll wipe you out. Otherwise, I'm done for completely. I love your threats. Your smoke and mirror chatter makes me want to laugh and dance a horny jig. The chicken dance! Try to meet you. If I don't kill you and eat you up, I might die. You might die, and I might die if I don't drink all your blood and then burst from indigestion. Actually, you would die of something else if you did such a thing. I'll destroy you. I swear that in a privileged seating I won by my previous victories. Oh, privileged seating? I would love to see you toss from your privileged seat and sit on a bench at the back. Oh, you I'll cut down your dinners from the food bank. I'll drag you to Demas on justice from you. I'll hold you off to him. I can produce more slander than you can. You poor wretch. You won't believe you. 
I'd play around with him just as I wish. You think of Demos as someone you owe. Why not? And all the snacks you like to snipple. Yeah, but you feed him like a dishonest nurse. You, you chew up the food and give him a tiny piece once you've had three times as much yourself. Besides, my skill, I can make Demos do whatever I want. I can open him up and close him tight. I can do the same thing with my asshole. <laughs> oh, honestly. Well, my good fellow, you ought to be a man known to have showered me with insults there in the council. What skills are Demos? There's nothing stopping us. Come on, then. Demos, oh, Demos, come out here. Yes, dear father, for Aphrodite's sake, come outside. Demos, come out so you can see how I'm being abused. Francis, what's going on out here? Who's doing all that shouting? I was busy in there and... Oh, Francis, I'll go to you, too. Oh, you've got an court plea? Oh, oh, you've been being nasty to you. Oh, this man here and these vile nights. Oh, whatever could that be? Oh, because, because you love me so passionately.
can you say you love him when for seven years you've seen him living in, in casks and cranneries and turrets, but showed him no pity? Instead, you locked him in and stole his money. When messengers came to town bringing peace proposals, you ripped the proposal to shred and drove the embassy, ripping their backsides out of town. I did that so Demas might one day rule over all, so the prophecy escaped that he will one day sit in judgment at five pounds a day if he bides his time. And until then, I will love and protect and look after him and see to it that he receives his three pounds every day. Three pounds a day? Did you just say five? Uh, you must be deaf, my good man, for I said two. Uh, <laughs> Tend to love him when you, who sell so many skins, have you ever made him a present of a pair of shoes? And you pretend to love him, oh, shame on you. I, on the other hand, I have brought for you this pair of shoes and have given them to you to wear. Oh, oh that's marvelous. Oh, yet another proof that you are truly dedicated to this city. And by those. Here, let me see. 
What was your sign? It was a, yes, it was a fig leaf stuffed with bullet spent. That's not what's here. No, and what is it? It looks like it's a, a seagull perched high up on a rock and bunching a sausage roll while making a speech. Take that away from me! Take it away! Oh, oh, that vile oh, thing! What's the matter? It's sealed. It must belong to that horrible man. A dolphin! <gasps> oh, here. Take this ring. You can be my steward. No, no, no. Please, my liege. Not yet, I implore you. Not before you heard my prophecy. Uh, and mine! If you believe this man, you'll be reduced to a puppet. And if you trust him, you'll be, your knob will be sliced and stripped down to a twig. <laughs> Here, my prophecies declare that you are to rule every land with a crown of roses. Uh, and mine say that, uh, my, uh, mine say that you will wear an embroidered purple robe and, uh, and a crown and, um, ride in, in a golden chariot. You will become the finest judge. What is this? Oh, my, 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 my special oracular auspicious scrolls of vortex. Is that all of them? You look surprised. Why, I have an old army. I've got a basement full of them. Where do your scrolls come from? Uh, straight from the lips of the great oracles of Bami. And yours, where, where do they come from? Uh, mine are from Edinburgh. <laughs> okay. Well, and uh, what are yours about? Uh, about the city, about you, about me, about everything. And you? Uh, mine are about uh, the, the city, <laughs> about fresh mackerel and um, uh, flower merchants who give false measurements in the marketplace. Ah. About about you, about me, about. About that man there choking on his own cock. What? Really? Listen here. <clears throat> son of a ho. Son of a what? <laughs> My mother, she was a fine woman. <laughs> oh, I'll have you go. She had many husbands and she loved them all very much. And say that. <laughs> son of the earth erected a hearken to the intent of Birmingham's oracles, pronounced through holy tripods from its inner shrine. They tell you to keep safe the sacred hound with the jagged teeth, who howls in your defense, and on your behalf he howls out alarming noises. He will furnish you with payments, but you must protect him. For there are countless jackdaws who hate that dog and keep calling after him. I don't understand a word he says. What does a, a jackdaw have to do with dogs and er erections? Like I am that dog. I howl in your defense. The oracle tells you to protect your dog. Protect me. I prove it. Bark for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the oracle says nothing of the sort. This dog is chewing up the oracles the way a dog chews on bones. I have here a proper prophecy. Then state it. But first, I'll use this to defend myself against a dog from the oracle. Ah, uh, very wise. Uh, be warned, it's in a foreign tongue. I'll try to give it the proper uh, interpretation. <clears throat> now I'm throwing tongue back. Uh, yes. <clears throat> oh, uh, son of uh, Zeus, um, beware of uh, uh, Cerberus, the three-headed dog. That kidnaps men. He fawns after you with the uh, with a wagon tail. Uh, but late at night, when you're asleep, he sneaks into your kitchens and, uh, like a dog, licks clean your plates and islands. Ah, now that's much better. Well, 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 listen to this and then decide. A woman will bear the lion, who will fight bravely for the people against huge clouds of thoughts. As if he were protecting his own cubs. Look after him. Fight bravely for him. Build wooden walls around him and towers of iron. Do you know what that means? Ah, uh, no. The oracle really tells you to protect. 
technique. I am that lion symbol. Uh, how did you become a life force? You were a dog. I'm getting to the next ball. Uh, he's clearly oh. leaving something out in that saying. Uh, the only walls I know of made of iron and wood are a cask. He wants you to get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like that. I meant drunk. Why does he say these things? Uh, well, he wants you, uh, if you don't want these things to come true, to, to put that man in, in stocks, the kind with only one hole. Oh, uh, yes. I think that prophecy is just about to be fulfilled. Don't let them listen to them. They're jealous. They keep coy after me. Cherish the hawk. And remember in your heart, he is the one who brought back those young ravens all chained together. <laughs> the Capligonia was drunk that day, so I took such a generous risk. Let's have another one of mine, shall we? <clears throat> oh, poorly counseled son, why well, believe that was a great deed? For even a woman can bear a load if a man places it on her. Oh, but uh, she will not fight, and oh, will all the bathtubs disappear from town? Wait, do you mean to say I, I won't be having my, my bath tonight? No, <coughs> you won't because someone stole all of our tubs. What? Ah, oh, the humanity! Oh. Uh, I have another! You shall become king of Earth and France, too. Uh, become a presiding judge on the Great British Bake Off and <laughs> lick up decorated cakes. In a dream! I have seen the goddess Athena herself. She was pouring health and wealth all over Demos' glistening naked body oh. with buckets. Ugh. I saw Athena come in person. She came down out of the hills wearing an owl perched on her helmet. Over your head she poured ambrosia from a little jug, and over his head she took a fat steam and dump. Oh. Have a guardian. We're gonna nice have a word about you dreaming of being naked. <laughs> Regardless, I've now put myself in the care of this man. He can guide me in my old age from now on, yes? Yeah? <laughs> no, 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 yes, I implore you, at least. Uh, not before I, I have um, you some, some oats to your breakfast so you uh, live on every day. I don't want to hear you talk about oats. I've been cheated by you too many times. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll make some sessions for you. I'll, I'll bring you scones and nicely roasted meat. All you have to do is eat. Very well. Get on with what is, whatever it is you have to do. And whoever gives me the best service, I'll give you the keys of the, the keys of the market. That'll be the first of the time. No, you won't have <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, it's talking again, it's keeping wrong. It's haunted or something. It's not the first time. Your leadership is surely so fine. You're like a tyrant. Men fear all the time, but you're easy to fool. You like flatteries, and you love to be told plenty of lies. You listen to speakers with your mouth open wide. Your mind may be present, but it's gone for a ride. If you think I'm a fool, then beneath your luscious hair, you have no brains at all. Yes, I like drinking each day, and I quit a feast in the council with this very purpose in mind. But, once he serves his purpose, I'll lift my hands up and strike him down flat. What you do then is good, and your style is profound. These scoundrels grow well on the marketplace, so you won't have to wait long. Then you take one who's fat if he needs to eat meat, stuff him up, decorate him, and then you'll have something to eat for dinner. Look at me. I'm smart. I always seem as though I don't seem to notice when people are acting like fools. But I always keep one eye open. Yes. And I put a thief in the... I put a thief in the council with... Where are my slaves? They should be back here by now. They can... Ah! I've been waiting for, for an infinite amount of time, just waiting to serve you. 
Well, I've been waiting 30,000 ages for the poker here, and I'm fed up forever. Now, uh, you, you know what you should do? If you tell me, I will. You should send the both of us out from a, from a starting line so we can, we can race to see who can serve you better under the same conditions. Yeah, it's a good idea. I think let's do. Get in line. I love a good race. Oh, ready. And then off you go. The sauce of show must be careful to make sure the pasta guardian doesn't have some secret trick. Mm. Yes. Uh, by Apollo today, my love through life will make me truly happy. Or else we'll have to keep playing the coin for okay? <laughs> The pasta guardian's grabbed the chair, but the sauce of seller has the table. And the sausage seller grabs the cushion before the Paphagonian can. Marvelous. But, Paphagonian has a stuffed crust pizza. <laughs> While the sausage seller has a dread ball scooped out with his own bare hands. Ah, my goodness, what massive fingers you have. <laughs> I have pea soup, tasty and splendid. How about it? Demos. The goddess Athena herself is watching over us, for over your head she holds a pot brim full of broth. Do you think we'd still be inhabiting this city if she wasn't? Here is a slice of the pious swordfish, and it's feeding him into every army. Uh, but here are the beef curtains from the daughter of a mighty farmer, uh, cooked in her own juices, served with a slice of tripe and sausage. Ah, yeah, she's remembering that maletrope I gave her. Ah, that's nice. Uh, and if you eat this black corn steak, I'll uh, grade troops in the navy a little faster. Ah, uh, here, have a, have a drink. A two pints uh, of wine and, uh, and one of water. Oh, that's, uh, that's delicious. The blend of water and wine, it uh, goes together so perfectly. Yeah, a yeah. slice of rich carrot cake. Ah, but for me, you'll get an entire cake. But you don't have any stewed hair to give him, I do. Damn it, Blaster, when am I gonna get a hair? I have to pull one out of a hat. You mean like this, you miserable devil witch? <laughs> I, I don't care. I, I, I see ambassadors, a bend from the, the council bringing bags of money to me. Wait, wait. Ha, can't you ever stop looking for money? Here, Demos, here is this hair I brought for you. Outstanding ah. move! If you don't mind me asking, I swear you're a little trick. How did you how did you come up with the idea to steal this? Uh, well, the, the idea was divine inspiration, but the theft was mine. I, I took the risk. Envision I prepared it. <laughs> Shut up. The one who brings me the food is the one who gets my grateful thanks. Good God, his great his impudence will surpass mine. Uh, now, Demos, why don't you tell us which of us has been the better to you and your stomach? The run is over. Ah, yes. How do I decide between the two of you using facts and logic to, to make the audience believe the judgment I pronounce is why? I'll tell you. Don't say a thing. Just go over there and take a look at my basket, and then do the same for Paphlagonians. That's all you need to do. Decide. Well, then, let's see what's in here. Can't you see? It's empty. But dear father, I brought everything to you. Ah, yes. Back, it is on the people's side. Now for the Paphagonians. Why? Look at that. It's full of so many wonderful things. Like a giant piece of cake he's been keeping for himself. That's what he's doing, that's what he did before. He gives you a tiny piece and sets aside most of it for himself. Is that how you've been treating me? By stealing? That symbol of your office. I gave it to you. I showered you in gifts. I, I did steal for the, the city's benefit alone. That garland, that symbol of your office, hand it over and quickly, so I can give it to this man. Yeah, hand it over quick, you worthless rogue. You deserve a whipping. No, 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 no. There is a policy. Oh, not again. It's all written blood by the greatest tower specs in all of the greater Birmingham and West Midlands of which declares the name of the only man with a fate say word. Spoke my name, and it was very clear. So, all right. Then I wish only to put you through a test with certain evidence to make sure that you are what the fate desires. To begin with, when 
You were young. What choice did you, did you make? I was taught by being thrashed in the pits where pigs are branded. Well, if that is prophecy, is going to give me a heart attack. And what, what did you learn from the, from the teachers of the wrestling? I was taught that when I was stealing, I should look straight ahead and tell a lie. And when you were grown, what was your trade? I sold sausages and fucked a bit for cash. My crumbs. I'm ruined. I'm nothing anymore. But I'm still clinging to one slender hook. When you sold your sausages, where did you do it? At the market or by the city gates? By the city gates, the salted foods are sold. Ah! The ultimate prophecy is fulfilled. For all this ill-fated wretch inside the house. Farewell, my darling. You must not farewell. <laughs> farewell, my darling. You must now leave me. This is a great reluctance I find in you. I'm going to have to some other man. No greater feast, but perhaps no greater fortune. <laughs> Victory to us! Yeah! Victory to the people! Remember that you have become a man thanks to me. I ask for something trifling. To be your patron and sign your lawsuit. What, what actually is your name? I don't, I don't even know who you are. I am Agoracritus, for I was raised on disagreements in the market. Hmm. Very well. I place myself in the care of Agoracritus. You say, for him, hand over this Patagonian here. I will look after you in style. Yes, you better. You could agree there's no one more friendly to the city full of those who love to yawn and gape. Yeah, yeah, let's go home. Uh, the bathtub's been returned yet? Uh, yes, I believe so, sir. Oh. Okay. All right, take him away. I'm done. I'll get rid of this. How grateful we are to the mighty sausage seller. How fine a man he is, and he has vanquished that awful Paphlagonian. I'm so glad I don't have to look at him anymore. Now our city will continue in its ways of peace and justice apart from the war and slavery. Uh, now that Paphlagonian will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. We must maintain a holy silence, keeping our mouths firmly closed refraining from giving evidence, and closing those courts from which this city gets so much delight. Oh, you flaming light, protector of the islands! What wondrous news do you bring as you come here, for which we will make our streets fill up with the smell of smoking sacrifice. I have taken Demos and made him young again for you, taken something that was ugly and made it beautiful. So then, what does he look like? Where can we see him? What style of clothes is he wearing? What, is, what have you done with hair? You will soon see for yourself, for even now I hear doors opening within the house. Call out with joy as the glory days are back, so often praised in hymns, the place where celebrated Demos dwells. Splendid! Crowned with violence! Show us the king of all the land! Gazed upon this man with the cicada in his hair, glorious in his ancient robes, anointed with myrrh and smelling now, not of Lynx Africa, but offerings of peace. Hail our king, we rejoice with you. What you do is worthy of the city, and you live up to your accomplishment. Come here, I grant it. Dearest of men, what great things you have done by boiling me. I have done. My friend, if you do not understand the sort of man you were and kind of things you did, you might say I was a god. 
Tell me. What was I like before? What did I do? Well, for a start, if someone in the council said to you, Oh, Demos, I am such an ardent lover of yours. I alone look out for you and know what you need. At that point, you would always flap your wings and toss your horns. I did that. And once he fooled you merely with those words, he would go away. They did that to me? And I didn't even notice? And then your ears, my God, would open like a parasol and then close again. Uh, was I so stupid? S such a fool? Yes, no. yes, you uh, were. You were. Now, if two counselors came to you, one proposing to build long ships for war, and the other to spend the same amount to pay off certain citizens. The one who spoke of pay would always go away victorious over the one who spoke of war. Why hang your head? Can't you stand firm here? Well, I'm ashamed of my early mistakes. You shouldn't be. They are not your fault, no, but that of the men who have tricked you. Now tell me, if some impudent advocate cried out, you jurymen, there'll be no wait for you unless you convict someone in this case. How would you respond to the man who made that plea? I'd fling him off the cliff, or bound up with bricks tied around his neck. Now you're talking in a reasonable and proper way. Yeah. What are the policies would you undertake? Tell me. Yeah. Firstly, the man whose name is entered onto the military register will be transferred somewhere else to special interest. No, they'll remain here, those originally written. Then, whenever the long ships return to port, you know what? I'll award the rowers their full pay. Oh, you'll please many a worn and blistered And then, no man who enters the marketplace, no man shall enter the marketplace, unless he has a beard. By that I mean those young men who hang around the marketplace their perfumes are sold. And they say such devious things like, oh, the way he used such flattery, such smart words to... No. Surely you'll give these chatterers the finger? No. I'll force them all to go out hunting. Stop proposing to vote in decree. Yes, but what of the Paphlagonian who did all that? No, what has become of him? Nothing excessive. He will continue my old trade, selling sausages beside the city gates. He will continue to make a hash of things, but from now on with dog and donkey meat rather than public business. And when he is drunk, he will swap his swear words with prostitutes and drink foul water from the public baths. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you propose that man richly deserves? A slang match with whores and bath attendants. Here, put on this frog green robe. You can take the seat that that piece of filth once occupied. Now, come home with me 